So since the beginning of time, uh, accountants, bookkeepers, business owners have been going into their accounting systems on a near day-to-day -day basis, and they have been manually matching categorizing and clicking on transactions to allocate them. That's what we do as accountants and that's what your CFO is doing or your bookkeeper is doing. And it is an extremely manual process and there might be a way to automate this. Why it hasn't been done yet, I'm not sure. Uh, possibly because A, it is a complicated topic because there is a bit of nuance into depending on what the business is, then your classification could be different. One business it's this, one business it is an expense versus cost of goods sold, for instance. And of course, the main two players in small business accounting like QuickBooks and Xero don't have API endpoints to be able to categorize transactions. So we're kind of stuck with this as an option. So why this could be tricky? Every business is different. So I do foresee you're gonna to have to give it very detailed instructions, uh, especially when it comes to classification of transactions. So I did that in a previous video, it works, we can do it. And uh, you just have to be able to say, you have to give it some instructions. That could be the main caveat, but you would be giving that information to your bookkeeper anyway, or your accountant or your uh, staff member that's helping you uh, categorize these transactions. So it's not impossible to do that. And then obviously to scale this up to, if you're a big CFO firm and you want to do this for 500 entities, I think there may be some complexities in that. And then the last hurdle, and I'm sure this is gonna get way, way, way easier, is the actual logging in, uh, giving it your credentials. They're gonna figure out a smart way to safely give it your, your credentials. And then it's just gonna be uh, open to the AI agents.